That, look at that glow. Look at that. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Howell. Bunga. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the new Fenty Skin Tint. I think it's called Eavesdrop. New Eavesdrop. That reminds me of when I was a kid and I used to eavesdrop in people conversations. Is that what it's called? Yes, that's what it's called. If you want to see my review, I try on the product. What I think, I do a wear test. If you want to see my review of the T Beauty Eavesdrop Skin Tint, then just keep on watching. But before we get into the video, if you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and become a ninja, join the gang. You'll love it here, I promise. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey guys, I am super excited about this review because as y'all know, if you don't know, now you know. I'm a skin tint type of girl. Like, I love skin tints. I love tinted moisturizer. It's just better, like, when you go on vacation in the summer. I don't like to put on thick, heavy foundation. I only use foundation if I want to be down. So, I was so excited when Riri Fenty Beauty came out with this because I wanted to test it. And it was right on time. It's like they was reading my mind. I just ran out of my favorite tinted moisturizer. Matter of fact, I have it now. And y'all. I usually use this H2O skin tint by um, Pixie, and I ran out. It's completely empty. Like, there's nothing in here. Oh, maybe there's a little bit in there. I need something to wipe my hands in hell. But the point is, I needed something new, you know? This is what the packaging looks like for the Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I got mine in the shade 20. Um, I ordered online and then I went to go pick it up at the store. So first I'm going to actually moisturize my face. Then I am going to prime. Also going to use this liquid oil control um, moisturizer as well. Um, all of the Sephora's around my hood didn't have my shade or close to my shade it was all the lighter shades and then all of like the really darker shades it was like none like 13 like 11 to like 20 something was all all sold out and um don't mind my little boo-boo well it's actually not a boo-boo i got the um corona vaccine did y'all get it let me know if you got it in the comments below and if you have an opinion on it, I don't really care. Like a, a bad opinion. To prime my face, I'm going to use the Poreless Tarte Primer. Even if I'm using a tinted moisturizer, I want to prime my face. I'm also going to do a wear test. I'm going to wear it throughout the day. Right now it is 12 p.m. This is a light to medium coverage um, for all skin tones, blends, and blurs to instant perfection, light as air. Yeah, that's what it says. My lips are so freaking dry and I'm so thirsty. This is what the packaging look like. Just put it on like so. Ooh. That's what it looks like. Looks like it'll be um, a pretty good match, right? I'm just going to take my fingers. I'm scared. Okay. This is weird. I don't usually. Oh. I don't usually blend my tinted moisturizers in with my hands. Um, I don't know. It's it's giving me streaky vibes. Like this. I mean, hold on. It's a really silky, y'all. It's like, it feels like, it literally feels like a moisturizer. This is what the coverage is looking like. Okay. Okay, baby. Wait. Wait, this looks, it looks like my skin. And this is light to medium coverage. So I have freckles. Um, I don't know if y'all can see it. And you can still 
see my freckles through but that's okay because that's what i'm used to and like i said i don't like anything super heavy with the other side i think i'm going to blend it in with the brush let me see if i can find a brush that we can use this i don't like using brushes <laughs> y'all i be saying i don't like using brushes but honestly i think i don't know how so i decided to do the other side with a sponge because i'm scared to do it with a brush i don't really use brushes like that so let's try a sponge and then i do my forehead so i'm going to do the same thing on this side Bam. and then i'm going to take my dirty ass sponge i like my sponges dirty so you know the vibes and then I'm just going to pounce it in. Mm. No. Mm -mm. I don't like it with the sponge. It picks up too much. Well, this sponge. This is like the um, Real, Technique, Real Technique sponge. It is picking up too much of the product. Look at this side compared to this side. This side looks like it has more coverage. Is this a foundation brush? I guess. I'm going to use that. Let's try it again. Maybe it was the way I did my lines. <laughs> it wasn't, but let's see. Yes, I like it better with the with the brush. But honestly, I think I like it better with the hand. Someone keep calling me. No one ever calls me. People only call me when I'm filming a video. It's so weird. I'm just going to um, kind of go over what I did on this side with my hand just to like <clears throat> make it match right now since we already saw the difference between the two. Let me get close up and close and personal so y'all can see what it's looking like. Let me turn down the lights so you can see what it looked like without bright lights. And then I'm going to show you all how it looks in natural lighting too. I really like the texture. It really feels like, y'all know what it feels like? It feels like shea butter. Like, it feels like whipped shea butter. Like, it was not that thick shea butter, like, when you first take it out. It's that shea butter, like, after it's been whipped and after you have already rubbed it in. That's what it feels like to me. I see, I see what you're doing there. I see what you're doing. And that's why sis hasn't been coming out with music. She got this beauty shit down packed, bro. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my face. I'm going to add some concealer. I have a question. Should I use powder? Powder or no powder? I think I've seen some people use powder and I've seen some people not use powder. I think I'm gonna use powder, but I'm gonna use a very fine powder. Um, I'm gonna use this CoverGirl Clean Fresh powder. It's like a pressed powder, so I feel like it's very fine. You'll be able to get a good wear test when it comes to um, the actual product because it shouldn't, you know, affect it that much. You know what I'm talking about, right? Brush and kind of... Look at that glow. Look at that. Wow. That's my favorite part. That's my favorite part. Is that it gives you that natural glow without you having to put on any highlight. Like, that's what's up. Like, I literally could put this on and just go. I'm going to use my Fenty bronzer and Mocha, Mocha Mami. Mocha Mami. Why is that? right there can you focus
I'm going to um, set my face. I'm going to use the Dewy Coconut Setting Mist by e.l.f. because something about that refreshing summer. I don't got on no makeup. I woke up like this. Look, it's just. Mm. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up, speed it up. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you how my makeup, how the Ease Drop Skin Tint looks on in natural lighting. I'm right in front of my window with no ring light, no artificial lighting, anything like that, so that you can get the real deal of how it looks. That's how we looking like. Okay guys, so now I'm going to do the wear test. I'm gonna wear this skin tint all day and I'm gonna come back tonight and show you how it looks so that you can see if it, you know, really lasts all day because you know these brands, they be trying. They be trying for nuts and I will be back, so. Hey guys, I'm back! <laughs> okay, so I did my wear test. It's 10 o'clock now, so. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock <laughs> it's 10 o'clock now so I've so I've had my makeup on for 10 hours this is how it's looking not bad I kind of patted my makeup a little bit because I looked like the grease ball but I feel like if I put powder on it shouldn't be too bad but it kind of wore off a little bit and I got like really oily and greasy in those areas. But this is how it looks. Let me know what you think. I like it. I'm going to continue to use it because it's good. It's cool. It's, I don't know if it's worth 20. How much this shit cost? I think it was like $30. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen, but I don't know if it's worth that much. Because my Pixie, that's like $7, do the exact same thing. But I still like it. I'll buy it again. But yeah. Hi. I got a pointer. I can spin it. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, girl. All right. So that's the end of this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, join the Ninja Gang, gang, gang. And I will catch y'all in my next video.